Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April. This is for April. So, let's just see what I got for Scorpio. Ooh, new beginning. New beginning. So, this is starting from scratch, starting over. Okay, so you may be moving, maybe you're moving to a new place, or you're uh, stepping into new territory. This is a brand new beginning, okay? You're starting a new journey, starting a new chapter. So, this is a brand new you. Being called to take a risk, needing to take a risk, step forward in blind faith. So, you definitely are starting over. You're starting a new chapter, okay? You are starting a new chapter this month. You may not see it, you may not feel it, but it is definitely coming, okay? So you're starting from scratch. Looks as though, it's, it feels like you are, uh, this is an exciting opportunity, put it that way. Leaving something behind, okay? You're leaving something behind. Seizing a new opportunity. This is, you're ready. You are absolutely ready. It's time to let go of your fear. You're definitely letting go of fear. You have a new opportunity here. It's beautiful. It really is. This is a brand new opportunity. It's something that is definitely going to make you happy. You may have been fearful of it, or you may have been stuck in a situation for a while, or you may have missed the opportunity in the past, but not anymore. Okay, this is a new beginning, and it is beautiful. It really is. Now you're interested. You're ready. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to step on this into this new life. It's definitely happening. Things are going to happen fast for you. April is going to be a month of movement and new beginnings. But you're going to have to not have any fear. Okay? Consider this um, a brand new life. Right? A brand new chapter. Because that's exactly what it is. Have no fear. Now, this is good news. Something about commit. Some of you are headed into something that is very committed. You may have a commitment that is moving very fast. You may be communicating. Could be with a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. Could be an Aries. But this is communication. This is things have really, really happening. This is ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Are you ready? I hope you're freaking ready because ready, 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 ready for a commitment, ready for, this could even be marriage, okay? Um, this could, this is some sort of commitment that is stepping it up to the next level by the looks of things. Um, things happening very fast. Now, this is news, communication coming in. There's definitely a higher power involved. Now, this is believe and have faith and listen to your gut, this is God or a higher power that is bringing you, look at this, the Ace of Cups right underneath the hand, okay, the Ace of Cups. But in reverse, this was, okay, in the upright, this card was discontent, not accepting an offer, not seeing an offer, missing an offer. Now you see it. Now you're ready for it. So there's a, you have a new beginning here that could lead to marriage. It could lead to commitment. It could lead to something... Um, Obviously, it's a, it's a new journey. It's a new chapter. But this is divinely guided. Now, this is, are you listening to your gut? This, are, are you? Are you listening to your gut? Because it looks to me like they've given you a message about love. Ooh, some of you aren't listening to your gut and you need to. Let go of the fear, please. Let go of the fear. Step into this new chapter with faith. This is have faith and this is have faith. you got to have some faith. Have faith in new beginnings. Have faith in love. You're going to be communicating with somebody. You're going to be communicating with somebody that you may feel like maybe you feel like they're not the one. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough or you're not attractive enough or... Um, maybe you feel like 
you got too much baggage or something like that. Or they got too much baggage. There's some level of dissatisfaction here. It feels like you're afraid to just go for it. And you should just go for it. Let, step forward with faith, Scorpio. Have faith, have faith, have faith. I need to really, really plug that into you. Have faith. There's a lack of excitement here where you should be excited. Be, this is This is exciting. This is an exciting opportunity for you to start fresh with somebody that is commitment material, okay? If you are in a commitment already, perhaps you uh, have an opportunity to have an opportunity to start over with this person to renew, okay? Maybe there's been a lack of passion or a lack of drive or a lack of ambition, but there's definite, and maybe somebody hasn't been really communicating. Communication is definitely going to step it up a notch, put it that way. Um, but that Ace of Wands is something that didn't, that isn't growing, okay? There's lack of growth, and I think it's, it's, uh, oh my God, Ace of Cups reversed, emotional. There's definitely, we could have somebody here that is drowning in their emotions, throwing away an opportunity. It's like you're throwing away a beautiful opportunity for love. They brought you this opportunity and, and you're throwing it away? What the hell? Now this is shutting down your emotions. I don't get it. You may not be being honest with yourself emotionally. You may be blocking your emotions. Somebody is blocking their emotions, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. What the hell is going on? Being weighed down by emotions. Are you being weighed down? This is being weighed down by your emotions. Is that, the, is that what's going on here? When you have an op, you need to have faith and believe. The Hierophant is an, a higher power that is is telling you something, giving you a message. Now, in this, this, I don't know if you're dealing, you could even have a mentor or a teacher or a medium or um, somebody that is spiritually gifted, okay, that is giving you some very good advice communicating with you that you need to listen to but you just don't have any faith have faith is big this month have faith have faith in love it feels like you guys are blocking love you're blocking love from you're blocking yourself from falling in love that's what it looks like Oh my God, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a painful separation, a painful ending, a betrayal. Something really hurt you, right? Something really hurt you. But it's time to leave that pain in the past. It is. That's over. The, wor the worst has happened. The worst is over. Your prayers have been answered, even though it may not be the way that you anticipated. You have an offer of love coming in. You do. Somebody that is very romantic. Somebody that is very caring. Somebody is interested in you. This is not the person that hurt you. It's not. This is somebody that is emotionally available. And the last one didn't work out because they weren't emotionally available. And you've been focusing on them for too freaking long. Stop. There is an opportunity for love here. And it is not the person that hurt you. They have brought in you as somebody that wants to start fresh, that wants to start over, that or wants to have a new beginning with you. This is an opportunity for you. I think that you're ready for it. I think that you just need to let go of your fear and open up your heart. The person that hurt you, that's over. That's over. You need to master your emotions and have faith in new love. Because you've got a new opportunity here.
But you're holding on to a dead end. Yes, sir. That is holding on to a dead end and it has gotten old. And now you are held back by fear. You are. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to that pain. That situation is done. It's over. You have a new relationship prospect that wants you to give them a chance. And God or a higher power is saying, please have faith and do this. Nine of Pentacles reverse. That is a person that uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't realize that the person that hurt them doesn't complete them. This is insecurities. This is unstable, being unrealistic, not being grounded, not putting in enough effort to uh, separate. Oh, that person completes me. No, the only person that completes you is you. So we have somebody here that is 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 not very stable, very insecure, not being realistic, not putting in effort to master emotions, holding on to a dead end, holding on to something that just about killed them. There's no love left. It's done. It's died. It's over. And there's another opportunity for love here. This person is very charming, very romantic, and is available. It's a water sign. It's another water sign, or it could be a Taurus. It could be an Aries. This person was brought to you from above. You're going to be receiving messages. You're going to be communicating with this person. But your own insecurities, your own fear of getting hurt may hinder your progress. But the higher power is saying, have faith, step forward in faith. This is your opportunity for love. You may meet this person. Um, where are you going to meet this person? If you haven't met them, I think you think you've already m known of this person. You've already know this person. Yeah, I think you already know this person. Um, I was going to say at a church. I don't know. I don't think there's. I don't know if there's funerals around in April or not, or if things change. But I don't know if it could be a church or it doesn't have to be. Um, but I think most of the churches are closed. But that's what I wanted to say. Um, But this is the death of a person or idea. So it's the death of that idea. And then we do have that. That one that uh, rejected you. The one that didn't reciprocate. The one that didn't complete you that you thought that did. Okay, that's over. It's done. It is. But you've been holding on to it for way too long. So now it's time to wake up. It's time to get up. It's time to stop wasting your time. It's time to come out of isolation. It's you've you've done your you know, you've been isolating yourself and hiding yourself and um you know, praying for it's a, it's almost like you've been praying for this person to love you. You can't make somebody love you. You can't. If it if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. But they've brought in you. It feels like they're bringing you somebody <laughs> That you could fall in love with if you would give them a chance. So, I think that you, you've you taken all the time that you need to take waiting for this other person to uh, come back. I feel, or to uh, reciprocate. And I think that you need to stop wasting your time. And you need to listen. You need to listen to this spiritual guide or this mentor or the higher power. It's time to listen. 
and step into new territory and have faith in new love because they're going to bring you a new love opportunity. This person is going to be communicating back and forth and there's an opportunity. You may fall in love with this person if you can get past your insecurities and your fear of getting a broken heart and accept that the person that just about killed you is gone. So you're going to be getting an offer of love from somebody. Oh, yes, you are. There's no doubt about it. This is a perfect union. It is um, very compatible. This could be a potential soulmate connection. Potentially. This person will treat you with respect. There will be an attraction with this person. You are going to come together with somebody. They're bringing somebody into your life. And I think it starts with, it could, I feel like it starts with texting or messenger, you know, that's how it starts. It feels, to me, it feels like, you know, that's how it starts. And, and well, obviously a lot of these days, that's how things start. And it develops into a strong, it feels like it's a spiritual connection. If you allow it. So anyway, they are bringing you together with somebody that is, is a perfect match. I know that they are. But you have to uh, open your heart to this person. So be prepared to receive messages of emotional support or flirtatious messages from somebody. You know, and you are being called to step forward with faith and give this person a chance. Because this could be the long-term commitment that you have missed out on for all these years holding on to that person that uh, didn't know how to love you. Good luck. 